Hello! We are very happy to present you something really amazing, the web design tool that will change your idea of how websites are made. There are many website makers, but none of them is simple, easy to use, and allows creating websites in minutes. If you can use Microsoft PowerPoint or Apple Keynote, you can use NicePage. Note that in this version, you can export for WordPress and Joomla. Welcome NicePage, your new personal design assistant. NicePage is available online as a Windows application and as a plugin for WordPress and Joomla. We will demonstrate NicePage features using the desktop version as an example. We'll start with visiting NicePage.com website. Enter a valid email. Click the Getting Started button. On the next page, download the Windows application. Install NicePage for Windows. Run NicePage. Activate or continue the trial. Let's add a new page. You can create pages from scratch. Also, you can build using the powerful page builder. We will use free images. You see images selected by default. However, you can select and unselect any number of images to be used for a website. Switch categories. Let's select interior. Click next. All those pages are not pre-made and generated on the fly automatically by nice page intelligent design services. Let's filter the results by selecting split and colored in the top right. Finally, choose a page style. If you don't like the generated results, you can always use the pre-designed examples provided by our designer community. We can start with any of these samples, for example, with this one. Let's start with the basics of the user interface of NicePage. Start with the top bar containing the pages, the website settings, the theme menu, and the add menu at the center. To the right, you see the responsive modes, the preview, and the export. The web page navigator is located to the left. Here, you find website sections, including the header and the footer, the theme elements. Let's review the theme settings in details. Begin with colors. Select theme colors. In the reality, there are not that many websites that use more than five colors. Therefore, our palettes are created to cover the need for the color variety, allowing to express any color ideas. Let's choose this palette. Now these colors are available for all elements in the web page. Now modify the fonts. Our font schemes are created by picking from the most popular Google fonts and combinations. Select the font scheme. Next, we will define the typography. The typography sets change the text presentation on the page. The selected settings will be used for all texts by default. In addition, these typography elements are available in the text style list. The detailed type tuning for page elements is done in the heading and text. Select theme, heading, and text. Proceed to the header. Since the header and the footer are part of the theme, you can reach them in the theme menu. However, it is more natural to click the header thumbnail in the navigator to the left. Let's select a header style with the text headline. Many modern websites have a header overlapping the introduction section, which changes the background to white while scrolling a page. First, we will select the header fill, as by default all sections are transparent, though it is not obvious since the background default color for a page in browsers is white. Make the header sticky on scroll. Enable overlapping, enable transparent, and inverted text color for the overlapping mode. Click preview to see that on scrolling the header background is still white, as we've selected this earlier. Edit the website menu. Click the menu in the header. Select the edit menu in the context toolbar of the menu. Add two menu items. Switch items. Click done. There are now three items in the menu. Make the menu shorter. Another modern feature supported in NicePage is the off canvas menu. By default, the button mode is set starting from tablets. Let's change this to starting from the desktop. Switch to the button pop-up tab in the property panel. The off canvas menu is to the left. 
You can add various controls to be shown in the Op Canvas menu, such are the logo, the headline, the search, the WordPress widget, the Joomla position, social icons, etc. Let's add a headline. Modify the texts, alignment, and positions. Add social icons. Also align this element properly. This is it. That's simple. Let's modify the footer. Select footer in the website navigator to the left. Click the section style button in the property panel. Select a style with the logo. Let's add a menu. Select the header. Copy the menu from the header. Select the footer. Paste the menu into the footer. The blog and the post templates are important parts of the theme. Select the blog template from the theme menu. Select a preset for the blog in the right panel. Modify the post header. Select the post image. Please note that the blog and the post templates support the SCR set feature used in WordPress. For example, to show different images for different responsive modes. Enable the shadow. Select the metadata. Modify the type and the color for the metadata. Add the author. Remove the category. Select the post template in the theme menu. Select theme post template. Select a post preset in the property panel. Enable the shadow. Modify the type and the color of the post metadata. Add the author. Remove the category. Change the post header font size. Enable the right sidebar. Change the sidebar width pulling the marker. Add gaps between the blocks. Switch to the pages. Select a page in the page menu in the top bar. Let's add a new section by clicking the plus in the section ruler. There are over a thousand of pre-designed sections available and each of those sections has a unique design and a layout. There is the section style list to the left and thematic categories at the top. Selecting styles and categories, you narrow down the number of offered sections, allowing you to see the most appropriate ones. Select a section style. If you change your mind or you don't like what you have just selected, you can easily choose another one. Click the section style in the right panel. Select a category. Select another section style. In addition, we can add more spacing between cells. Back to the left navigator. It makes it easy to select and to operate sections. At the very top of the web page navigator, there is a page name. Click the page name to change it. Type a new name, then click the Save button or press the Enter key. Each section has a menu. The duplicate operation copies the current section. Drag sections in the navigator to switch the section order easily. If you want to delete a section, choose the Delete option in the section menu. Assume that you need a functional section, let's say with a contact form, an address, and a map. Add a new section by clicking the plus in the section ruler. Select the contact form category in the dialog. Add the section with a form and a map. After adding the section, click the map or the form control to see available properties in the right panel. The section editor is the central part of NicePage. Here, you can add, move, position, and align various controls. Clicking elements in the editor, we see the properties change in the panel to the right. Altering the parameters modifies a selected element. In addition, in the panel, you can switch tabs to navigate to a container or a section. Let's add sections using the builder. In the Add Section dialog, click the builder. For the section, you can search images online, use images from any social accounts or your local folder. Drag images from your local folder. Select images for the section. Select required texts for the section. Select a style from the auto-generated variants. Finally, click Done to add this section to the page. Using NicePage is very simple. It's similar to working in the Microsoft PowerPoint or the Apple Keynote. At that, you get the clean code and the fully responsive HTML in the output. Let's assume that you don't like generated variants and the pre-designed ideas are not enough. There is a section mockup drawn in a graphic editor, for example, Adobe Photoshop. Let's use this section as an example. Add a blank section. 
The readability is very important for a web page. The content area is called sheet and it's marked with the dashed lines. It is recommended to place the content between these lines. Change the section height. All added controls are found in the Add menu. There are containers, basic, and functional controls. To create section with cells, we need a grid. Grids are flexible and very useful for the responsive modes, as for smaller screens, the cells are reorganized one under another automatically. Select Grid. Shrink the grid height. Move the grid up. While moving, you see the snapping guides and sizes and boxes that help to align. Replace the images by dragging from your local folder. Add spacing to separate cells visually. Select the cell to the left. Change the cell background from image fill to color fill. Collapse the image to make it a part of the content and expand image back to the cell background. Select another cell. Change the crop of the background image. Switch cells by dragging one cell over another. The destinations. A cell, a container, or a section are highlighted with the borders. Also, there is a tip above the destination cell. Copy the cell by dragging while holding the control key. If you change your mind to clear the content, select the cell, then press the delete key. Enable the cell fill in the panel. Change the fill color to light gray. Add an icon. Click Add and select Icon. In the dialog, enter Idea into the search field. Select the linear light bulb icon. There are many icon presets. Select the circled one. Note that the colors used in the presets are selected in Theme Colors. Add Heading 2. Modify the heading text. Change the text size and the spacing between letters. Undo the changes by selecting the default text style from the list in the panel. The styles in this list are set in Theme, Heading, and Text. Add a text. Click Add Text Text. Select a part of this text and make it bold and italic. Select another part, then add a hyperlink. Add a button alternatively. Click the small plus at the top right at the cell corner. Buttons also have presets. We will use the bordered one. Colors used in the presets are set in Theme Colors. Modify the button text. Make all letters in the uppercase, smaller and bold. Alignment and consistency are important design principles. Note again, while moving, there are guides and sizes helping to follow those principles. Also a reminder, dragging elements, there are highlighted cells with the upper tips clarifying the control placing. Auto align the content you see, the results are achieved easier and quicker even than drawing the section mock-up in a graphic editor like Photoshop. We have finished adding sections. No modern design is considered complete if it's not responsive for various viewports. Here's the magic. Clicking the responsive mode icons, you see the whole page looks nice in all modes. It was all done automatically. Amazing, isn't it? Note that all editing features are supported in all responsive modes. Change the crop of the image. Modify the heading size. You may hide any cell, let's say for the phone landscape, then show it back in one click. After you've made your changes, click the preview to see the page. In addition, you can check the website settings, for example, for the SEO. Click the export in the top bar. If you are satisfied with everything, you can export the theme to HTML, WordPress, and Joomla and save the theme screenshot. Let's use the export to WordPress as an example. In the dialog, select WordPress, the destination folder, and the theme and content option. Click the export button. Upload your theme to WordPress. Open WordPress admin. The theme is installed as usually as a zipped package. Go to the Admin panel, Appearance, Themes, Add New. Click the Upload Theme button. Select the downloaded zip from your local folder. Install the theme. Activate the theme. Import the content. Install the Nice Page plugin. The Nice Page tab appears in the WordPress menu. Click Pages. Import the content. The home page have appeared in the page list. Open the home page. We see the Edit with Nice Page button. 
The Nice Page plugin is also installed with the theme into the WordPress. Note that Nice Page WordPress plugin supports all editing features. Click the Edit with Nice Page button to open the Nice Page editor inside the WordPress. Click the Preview to see the page. We see that working in Nice Page is as simple as using the Microsoft PowerPoint or the Apple Keynote. In the output, you get the clean code and the fully responsive HTML. We hope you have enjoyed this Nice Page presentation. Click the link in the description below this video to try how it all works for yourself. If you've enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe for more videos to boost your design experience. Please leave comments on how we can make this all better. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.